summer here in Australia. If you guys want to find out what we did on our trip, I actually have a vlog channel where I'm going to be uploading all of the fun things that we did. I did a beach house tour, we went on a helicopter and we swam with the fishies. But hold up, if you guys aren't part of the family already, don't forget to join. There's a subscribe button. And the most awesome thing about being part of this family is you'll be automatically entered into my MacBook Air giveaway. It's going to be drawn August 21st. Don't worry, there'll be more giveaways after that. But if you want bonus entry, maximize your chances. There is a link down below. Last week it was a little bit broken, so I'm sorry guys, but it is fixed. You know what would be so awesome? If we can get this video to 50,000 thumbs up. I know you guys can do it because you guys are amazing. I'm really excited to show you guys these hats because I had so much fun with them. So without further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Let's go. There are some days where I want to chill in the pool without getting wet or worrying about falling in the water because Maybe the water is too cold or you're just not into that. So a great hack is just to get a kid's swimming pool and blow it up and use it like a floating little island. So much roomier than the floating swans or the floating like beds. And because the sides are kind of higher, you can put towels, books and pillows and everything in there without worrying about it falling in the water and getting wet, including yourself. I don't want to risk falling into the water either, especially like the pool here right now is so cold. It is freezing. It is still winter here. There are so many great designs for kids swimming pools. This one is so cute. It's like a little dinosaur and I called him Nessie. Yeah, I think that's an appropriate name. Who wants to go out and grab a drink once you've settled down in the pool? Like, not me. So here's the great hack for all of you guys and that want to keep hydrated while you're in the pool. And that is to create your very own floating mini bar. Just grab some pool noodles, a plastic tub that is wider at the top than the bottom, some thick string and scissors. Cut the pool noodles to the length of the sides of the tub. Basically you want to create a border all the way around the tub and not have it fall through. Don't worry, the noodles are actually really easy to cut with just a normal pair of large scissors. Now grab a piece of string and thread it through your noodles. I chose alternating colors to add a pop of brightness. And now pull it super tight and tie a double knot to make sure it doesn't come loose while it's in the water. And your mini bar is complete. All you need to do now is to add some ice on the bottom and your favorite drinks in the tub and then launch it into the pool. It was such a great way to stay hydrated while I was out there floating with little Nessie. Well, big Nessie actually. <laughs> So this hack literally made my legs feel so smooth, like I've never felt my legs this smooth before. So you guys gotta try it. It's like a double shave and scrub routine. And to make the scrub, you just simply combine three tablespoons of olive oil with two tablespoons of honey and half a cup of sugar. Just mix this all together and you have the perfect sugar scrub. Now all you need to do is to shave normally and then use the sugar scrub on the areas you just shaved. This will get rid of all the dead skin that's kind of stopping your shaver from getting as close to the root of your hair as possible and then simply after you've done that wash it off and shave again it'll literally be the smoothest shave you've ever experienced like wow like my legs feel so soft you gotta listen up if you want a temporary tan but you've run out of self tanner or don't have any, a great option is just to use some cocoa from your cupboard. Just mix some cocoa with some body moisturizer into a thick liquid like consistency like this. It pretty much looks like dairy milk chocolate. And you have a simple self tanner that's the perfect color and it's not orange, which is awesome. Just take a little bit and rub it onto your skin and it'll just leave a thin film just to create a little dark tan. So you can see how it's darkened my skin a tiny bit. And to remove Remove it, you simply shower and use some baking soda if there's like any stubborn bits. If you want sun baking to be even more fun, try adding a pattern to your body with sunscreen or Elmer's glue and this will create your very own tan tattoo. Make sure you're wearing sunscreen on all other parts of your body as well. Sun can really damage your skin if it's not protected. So slip slop slap guys. Listen to your heart, 
applying sunscreen on your face and just general summerness, it makes your face look super oily and greasy. And a great way to de-shine is just to apply some translucent powder on your face through a thin tissue. I always find applying it directly, it gets too heavy and forms like clumps and collects around my sunscreen or like facial oil. Yeah, it sounds disgusting, but it happens all the time. So the tissue helps you de-shine without looking like you've applied like too much powder on your face. And the best thing is your sunscreen is still on and you don't rub it off through this process. I am a horrible muzzy bite scratcher, like I just can't keep my fingers off of them. A great hack if you're a scratcher like me is to just use toothpaste on the bites to soothe it. It gives you a cool tingly feeling and it actually really worked. I was a bit dubious about this one. I didn't think it would work, but it did. And I forgot about my bites for a few hours after that. The other thing you can try to do is to slap it really hard until it's just painful instead of itchy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So in summer, keeping mozzies away is literally the bane of my existence. So when I found this really cute and natural mozzie repellent candle, I just had to show you guys. All you need are jars, essential oils that mozzies hate like eucalyptus, lavender oil and other oils. Like, Here's a list and you just basically choose one that works for your mozzies because all mozzies are different. The other things you'll need are lemon, limes, rosemary and also tea candles or floating candles. And it's just super simple to make, just fill up your jar, two thirds of the way up with water, slice up your lemon and limes, and then add them into your jar with two sprigs of rosemary. Now add in 10 drops each of your chosen mix of essential oils. I chose lavender and eucalyptus. And then you can remove the metal part of your tea lights to create your own floating candle or just use a normal floating candle and put it on top. Simply light it when you're ready to repel those annoying little things and the warmth will release the scents into the air and keep them away. They are so perfect for like dinner parties. You can also mix the solution into a spray bottle after and spray it on yourself for extra protection. Summer nights are way more fun when you create your own glow-in-the-dark lanterns. All you need are some glow sticks and some jars. Simply break the glow sticks to activate the glow. The snaps you're hearing are actually glass inside, so be careful with the next part. Choose your favorite color and cut the top of the tube to let the insides come out. And you basically just make cute patterns in the jar by flicking it around. And you can do whatever color you like or mix up the colors. After you flick it around, there may be a little bit more stuck in the tube. So an easy way to get the rest of it out is to cut the top off and this will let the air go through so that the rest of the liquid comes out. I love mixing three colors together to make almost like a galaxy-like effect. And that's pretty much it. You can create your own designs, you can shake it up, you can do whatever you like and mix it together. And it's such a cool way to light up your night. And this will be a fun activity as well. If you have like friends over, you guys can all make your own and yeah, almost look like little fireflies in a jar. your stuff from like the sneaky sand that sneaks into everything. You can also use a plastic bin liner. Simply find one with a plastic drawstring on the top and put all the things you don't want sand on before placing it into your bag. Don't you know that you're When I'm at the beach, I get too caught up with having fun. I totally forget where I throw my flip-flops because I literally just kick them anywhere. A great hack so that you never lose them is to use a harness clip to clip them onto the strap of your beach bag. That way, they'll always be attached to your belongings. And it's also a great way to carry around your flip-flops while you're walking along the beach so that you don't get sand in your bags. Normally, I just hold them with my hands, but this is way easier. Let me know which one of these hats were your favorite. Thanks so much for chilling with me. I can't wait to see your bright, beautiful faces next week. Until then, bye. Love you.